So we've got a problem with the bearings, the uh, roller bearings. This is the second set. They've uh, managed to deteriorate due to water in ingress. So what we have to do is we have to replace the bearings. We have to remove this big pulley. So what I've done is I've loosened all these bolts on the taper lock and I'll now remove it. This is what locks the pulley on the shaft. So you can see even though it's packed full of grease, the water's gotten in, it's got quite a bit of rust in the bearings, so it's, it was pretty close to failure. It's a good thing we took it apart. Yeah, you can see the water dripping out. Water and bearings don't mix. So the shaft has got a few scratches and things on it, so I've got some 320 grit emery cloth. I'm just going to polish it up, remove any of the high spots that could wear on the new bearings. It's a bit of a tight fit for sure. So these bearings are a little on the tight side, could be just the coating that they put on to protect the wood from drying out. So I'm just going to open up the clearance. So you can see this, this side isn't as damaged, but it is, there's quite a bit of water in here and they would eventually have failed as well despite being fully packed full of grease bearings don't look too bad So we've just installed the new Lignum Vitae bearings. They're actually quite tight. The clearances are very tight, but in time they'll open up a little bit as the wood wears. And uh, once the water gets in, it'll really help to lubricate them. Everything's a bit loose now until we get the, the big pulley on, and then we line everything up, and then we do the final tightening. But as you can see, it's, it's a little tight, but everything spins nicely. So I think we're in business.
So you can see it's making about 13, 12, 1300 watts, somewhere in that range right now. It's bouncing around a bit, a couple hundred watts, but the uh, river's flowing fairly fast. But uh, we're just into the start of the snow melt. It should pick up even higher, so hoping for 2,000.